When I heard that the Young Performance Award was to be uh, discontinued, I was, um, I was like many of my colleagues, uh, I think quite disappointed to see that it was going to go away. But also in the back of my mind, I thought, you know, this can't possibly be the case. There has to be a way in which YPA can find a new, a new life, a new context, a new way of coming up. So I always sort of held out hope um, together with, I think, many of my other colleagues, that there would be some way that, that YPA could find it, can find a new, a new platform, um, a new way of continuing f into the future. When I heard that most was going to be taking over the administration of the YPA, um, I thought it made perfect sense. It, it was it was a very natural fit, and I was, I was in fact extremely pleased to know that that YPA would be in good hands. One of the things about about YPA um, and, and indeed any competition is that. Um, Running a competition and administering a competition is a very specific um, and difficult. It's not something that's easy to do, um, and it takes it takes uh, an enormous amount of organizational skill. Um, and the more experience you have doing something like that, the better, obviously. And most, um, I think, it's, it's clear to all all who know most through um, through their great work that's been going on now for quite a long time is well positioned to take YPA and and run it very well um, and. You know, to to the to the great benefit, I think, of of everyone.